Good morning, it's 8am, I've just got up, um, a little bit later than I intended on waking up, but I'm up, um, luckily I work from home, so I log in at my job at around 9, half 9, so I've got an hour and a half in the morning to get ready, start the day, and yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> So once I've made my bed, watered my plant, took in some fresh air and made um, my room smell nice and done a mood spray, I'm going to brush my teeth. Um, I wear retainers which I already took out before this video and I literally can't function without brushing my teeth in the morning so I mean who can but I definitely can't so I'm going to go do that. So I'm going to cleanse my face now and I'm going to use the Beauty Kitchen Prime Time Cleanser. Now I absolutely love this stuff because it is um, not only a sustainable beauty brand, try and get it focused, not only is it a sustainable beauty brand but it is so good and it leaves your skin feeling so moisturised and it cleanses makeup off so well, like I absolutely love it. Um, it's only about £10 as well from Holland and Barrett. So, and what it says on the front is um, you can return it, refill it, and repeat. So, if you run out, you don't have to buy a new one. You can just, I think, send this back to them and they'll refill this. Um, I'm not sure how it works, but I'll leave it below. I use a few of their products and I really like it because I am trying to switch over to as many sustainable beauty products as I can. So, I just take a little bit. Oh, my mum loves this too, and I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's definitely cruelty free, um, and it might be vegan, I think it's vegan too, um, yeah, so this is, yeah, it's vegan. It's really important to me that I don't use any single use plastics in my beauty routine, and that includes wipes, because not only are they so harmful for your skin, but makeup wipes are so bad for the environment. So please, please, please don't flush them down the toilet and use something eco-friendly instead.
So I'm wearing these jeans from ASOS which are petite and I like to turn the um, bottoms up. And then this camel jumper from H&M. I'm just aiming for comfortable today because I'm going out later and I'm going to get ready and then head to do my makeup. and I think that the products that I'm using have like really got down to it. I'm just gonna be cracking with my makeup. This obviously is not a tutorial, it's just a get ready with me morning routine. So I might talk you through a few things. Um, I'll put in the description what I'm using. Um, first of all though, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation, which I really like. Um, I've just used it like for the first time a few days ago. Um, and it's not my colour, but I, but I, um, have fake tan, so it should match now. And I'm just going to use, um, the Spectrum B1 brush and just blend that in. Before I get onto my hair, I've just finished my makeup, I really want to talk to you about today's sponsor. So this video has kind of been sponsored by Northumbrian Water. So if you don't know who they are, they are the water supply for the northeast of England and they are great. Like it's one of the best tap waters in the UK. I drink them every day, I shower in them every day, they're great. And what they've asked me to come talk about is sustainable beauty. So basically 
Uh, if you didn't already know this, makeup wipes are extremely bad for your skin. Not only are they prone to cause breakout, inflammation, redness, they're really bad for sensitive skin. They don't cleanse your makeup properly. Like, they're just terrible. I have not used makeup wipes in a very long time um, unless it's been at a friend's house and it's the only thing that they've used and I've probably had a go at them for it. Um, they, If you follow up Caroline Hirons, you'll know that she hates them as well. Like, dermatologists just stay tell you to stay clear of makeup wipes completely. Um, I have actually switched to, oh, these, which um, you can buy from any sustainable store. You can buy them from, like, online. And what they are, are cotton pads. But they are reusable. So instead of using makeup wipes or a cotton pad that you just use once and throw away, hopefully you don't put them down the, the, the toilet either, um, you just wash your makeup off with these and put them in the little bag. I got more than three, I've just been using them. Um, and then you pop the bag in the washing machine and reuse them. Really easy to do, proper simple and great for the environment. And please, if you are using makeup wipes, do not put them down the toilet. Did you know that it is it takes over two years for a makeup wipe to biodegrade so one thing you know just because it's easy to take your makeup off with them doesn't mean that we're not going to deal with the repercussions later which is like really important 90 percent of the 11 billion wipes that we use each year in the uk contain plastic 90 percent like how how bad is that for the environment and how are we gonna deal with that later and one thing that i find about a lot of single-use plastics is yes it's easier to do now but we are getting to the point where we can't avoid it anymore and we can't keep using these products because it's really gonna do irreversible damage on our planet and we really have to start thinking about it so there's lots of ways that I've changed my beauty routine um, to be more eco-friendly and general life as well. Um, there's definitely more that I can do and I'm going to keep trying. But one thing that you should definitely do is bin the makeup wipe or stop using them altogether. I took bin as in bin as in not use them anymore. But if you do want to use makeup wipes, please do not flush them down the toilet or flush anything down the toilet that doesn't come out of your own body okay we all do it <laughs> hashtag relatable on this channel eh? no uh yeah so just do do better for the planet and try your hardest to not use makeup wipes but anyway i'm gonna go do my hair and then i'm gonna tidy up the mess that i've just made getting ready and then get some work done <laughs> My hair never, never curl right, so I'm gonna go sort this out because it's annoying me. What is going on? my morning routine i keep it pretty chill i don't like to do too much in the morning i'm not one of those people that gets up at 6 a.m does yoga and goes for a walk along the beach as much as i'd love to be um i find it a struggle getting up on mornings i like to work late that's when i find myself most productive and i'm thankful that i work a job that allows me to do that i don't have to get up at 6 a.m and get into the office for eight i can just roll out of bed and get up to work if i need to but i try to get up early i try to get a good breakfast and you know prepare for the day ahead so for the rest of the day i'm gonna work and um, i've changed my top i'm about to take some instagram pictures 
I've got some admin to do and I'm gonna get cracking but thank you so much for watching if you like this please like and subscribe and let me know what else you want to see from me and follow me on Instagram and all that hoo-ha but I really hope you enjoyed it and thank you again for watching because it means a lot to me it really does um so I'll catch you off the next video bye